What's up, dudes? Boozerx reacts. And feeling like I need to react to something, but I am not going to react to <laughs> rookie or amateur shit right now, or even expert. Um, I am still cleansing that last reaction <laughs> from my body. I, I took a couple baths, some meditation, and it's still with me. I, I don't want it anymore, so I just want to watch good foosball. <laughs> because, you know, we, we learn a lot through bad foosball, through amateur and rookie shit or expert shit. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we get better. But I, eh, I don't like being mean. I don't want to be a bad guy here. And I definitely cannot handle people telling me, oh, man, the person you are reacting to won a title over here or won a title over there. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. I, I don't, man. <laughs> we are here to just nitpick and critique and get better at foosball. And the best player doesn't always win events. I, I'm here to tell you that is a fact. <laughs> Um, that's why jackets mean absolutely nothing to me unless, you know, it's, it's one of those top, you know, 15 players in the room. I, I don't care. You stepping up to a table with your expert t title jacket does not phase me and it should not phase anybody. <laughs> Honestly, guys, you, you, you play somebody and you think, oh man, this guy won, you know, a pro title over here or an expert title there. Man, he won amateur singles at Worlds last year. It, that does not mean that they play smart foosball. That doesn't mean you can't beat them. But, and that's what, that's why I just don't want to have, I don't want to deal with people coming up to me or, or posting to me or telling me, hey man, the person you are knocking is an awesome player. Oh, <laughs> not in the matches we are watching, if that's the case. If, if they were an awesome player, we would be giving awesome reactions to them. So, yeah, man, that, we are not taking anything personal. We are all trying to get better here. So, I was clicking through YouTube. I saw this video, very, very short. This is Mr. Zeke Cervantes, David Vick. We know we're going to get high quality, high quality foosball. We are not going to get dumb shit. Um, and that's what I need right now. And I think that's what you need. As a viewer, <laughs> we want to, we see good foosball habits. And we're going to point out the good shit instead of focusing on the bad shit. So let's get this on. And... I know David is a pro. I think somebody said he used to be a master. Zeke is a dominant pro. I mean, I, I don't even know how many pro titles he wins. He is consistently um, placing very high in doubles and in singles. So we are going to get great action here. I know we are. Yep. yep. Already multiple tosses, getting a read. And let's look at some of that interesting defense um, right off the bat. <laughs> From, from Zeke. Um, David's moving it back and forth. He's showing him some movement. And, and this is what I do too. You, you, you see somebody kind of like testing the waters here? No, nah, man. I'm not going to show you my defense and let you get a read on it. I will just be still and when I think you're about ready to pass it, then I will go into my defense. And maybe that's what Zeke's doing. If not, he's just, you know, starting the mental chess. Hey, man. <laughs> take that Big open hole there, and David's holding off on it a little bit. Like, is he going to leave it there? And he goes for it. And he, and he probably doesn't even ex he probably doesn't execute because he's just big hole theory. Like, ah. Oh, I, I can't imagine why he left me that big hole. And we will Women's check out Zeke's two bar. Versus no, we don't even need sound. He has got a great pull kick back there. Nice grab. <laughs> and again, dudes, this is what we were talking about. And, and we have not been watching any of this in the past few reactions. Everybody is rushing their five row. They are not really, they're not always like looking at the defense. And that's not what these dudes are doing. Like right off the bat, they are, hey man, what is that defender giving me? Very slow tosses. <laughs> I mean, not a great execution there, but. Look where his man is for the brush. <laughs> See, guys, it is not floating around. It is right on top of that ball. That's what we want. And it looks like David just got a piece of it. Yep, good block by David. You'll see a very disciplined game from Zeke. 
When I played him, it seemed like he had a push, really good push sides. Yep, still wants to force the push. Look at that, multiple tosses, getting a read. <laughs> and then, look at this. He initiates that second toss again. And this is like, what, the third or fourth toss. Hesitation wall. Boom. <laughs> and it's like unraceable wall pass. And, yeah, we're going to stop the shit out of this video. And it's only 16 minutes long, but we'll probably go an hour. It's all right. <laughs> you... Even if you have a brush pass or if you have a stick series, that's how fast your wall pass needs to be. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of people do the stick series and people are racing their their, their walls. Nah, man. <laughs> There's no racing this. There is no racing this. Boom. <laughs> that's how fast your wall pass needs to be. I'm going to set it up again. Patient. Read the D. That is what we want to see. Kind of mixes in a little bit of stick stick series in with his brush. Setting it up for the pull. Very patient. Good long. I mean, this is what you're going to get. <laughs> you're you're going to get great defense, and you're going to get great three bar. Oh, man. Look, look at it. This. this is a great series from, from Zeke on the two bar. I mean, I'm a proponent of setting up the pull and stuff like that. But in singles, no, nah, man, you, you work both sides. He is keeping David off balance. He, he's working the pull and the push and the pull kick. And Dave gets a piece of it and it goes in. But still, man, that, I like that series and great ball control. And he is not that he's not hitting and hoping when he's doing that. You know, we, we saw a lot of people with their two bar just moving it around, hitting it. No, nah, man, he is... Looking at the defense, looking at the zone. Nope, I don't know if I like what I see there. I'm going to drag it over here, see what's open over here. Maybe I'll drag it over here. Okay, now I want to pull kit. Like, he is playing excellent two bar, just being smart with it, which is, it almost looks the same sometimes when he's moving it around as some of the other reactions we've done. But make no mistake, he is doing every movement with a purpose. And that's what we want to see. Look at that slow, just so slow. That ball's dying, and then he crushes it. <laughs> Fantastic five. And, and really good defense from David. He's stopping on certain holes. And that's tricky. It, it, we'll talk about this. We're here to learn. Look, look at David's defense. <laughs> Oops, sorry. One more time. See him? Like, right here. He, he is stopping on certain holes, and he is giving up big hole. Like, you do not have to go fast and try to cover everything all at once. You just have to trick the shooter. And, and sometimes, as a rollover shooter, you are looking for patterns, and when somebody stops, your eye goes over there to be like, oh, why is he stopped? Is he? Can I go around it? Can I cut inside of it? And that analyzing of the shooter, you know, me or, or Zeke right now, he, he sees this, but he's just like, huh, I, I can't pull the trigger right now because I'm unsure because this is not a natural motion to just not a natural motion to leave that dude still. And so that's why he's figuring out what else is David going to do with that. So great defense. And you have to have that. You have to be able to have a defense where sometimes you could stop one man, move the other. You can't just roll out the same standard defense over and over again. And, and David is already sh laying traps. And yeah, he's not moving, he's not leaving him still anymore. He's mixing it up really good. And that's what we want. We want to be able to rotate different defenses in that series, in that defensive series. Oh man. Look how slow his toss is. Off the wall. <laughs> a little too slow. Duped duped himself.
And again, like we'll see. I have not really, I've only played Zeke one time. I haven't really watched a lot of his matches. But look what he does on the three row once he gets it. He's going to set up for the roller um, right here. He is already kind of, I mean, he's, he's fixing this um, back goalie rod. And that's what we want to do too. Make sure you are in position before you get on, before you start shooting. But he is already going to be in like a shooting stance right now. Like he is good to go and he tic tacks it um, back and forth once or twice. And I guarantee you right here, he is looking, he's getting a read on what David is doing when he moves the ball. Oh, did he follow me out there for the push kick? Well, I, um, did he follow me out there just in case I want to do a push kick? Once I tapped it over here to set up the roller, is he bailing? So maybe I could get in a dink. And this is what you have to do. Like, this is my three bar shooting strategy. We're not going to just start throwing bullshit shots right off the bat, even though David has got a couple blocks. No, we want to set the roller, this set up the roller the same way every single time, just like Tony. And we do it in a way that gives us options later on during the match. And we will see if Mr. Cervantes maybe goes into like a toe pin or a dink or a slider or pull kick or push kick from this little setup that he's doing here. So I like it a lot. But he's still being very patient, very disciplined, going to stick with his roller. Oh man, great pull side. Yeah, look how clean both these players are. Oh. <laughs> Just very simple, very tight. And David immediately goes into pretty nasty pull kick and Zeke was there. And you're probably saying, Fooser X, <laughs> isn't that dumb foosball? He, he's not sticking with the shot? Eh, maybe, but this is David. He's a pro. He's an ex-pro master. He knows what he wants to do. He's not. He doesn't need to be disciplined. He doesn't need to practice discipline because he has it. So, no, oh man. <laughs> when you guys get to be pro, I will stop calling your shit dumb. But maybe. <laughs> I, I probably would have set up for the poll, worked the series, but we will see. Uh, good pickup game. Like he is getting some great pickups on the five row. Oh, <laughs> look at this! Oh my gosh! And, and this is why he is consistently one of the best. Um, he, I think he was expert for a while. No, like he is consistently winning pro events. Look at his series there. Like we go back to the five row philosophy, or yeah, five row theory. Everything looks the same. He is tic tacking that ball back and forth like every other possession where he did the wall, the brushes, and he, I mean, this thing is huge. <laughs> David is not even thinking about blocking a hack because he is so used to um, being puckered up on the wall and dealing with Zeke's five row. And, and that's what we want. <laughs> we don't want to just start throwing up hacks. We want to lay the framework out, let it play out so that hack is huge when we want it to be. Oh, man, Zeke is dominating this match. Yeah, and now look, look at that. <laughs> and and now because of that hack, David has to get back there. His his attention is split now. All of a sudden, he's doing this little weave, and David's like, "Oh man, I, I cannot let another hack get in there." And Zeke just takes a very quick wall pass. That's huge, and he does it very fast in the count. You know, uh, again, it's not just the passes; they all have to look the same. We also are looking at the timing. He has been doing very slow tosses, using up all 10 seconds, and instantly he goes into that wall pass when David puts his hand back there. And this, my friends, my foosball brothers, this is a series. He is absolutely massaging David on the five row right now. And it looks effortless <laughs> because he has dedicated himself to making sure everything looks the same and never deviating from it. And when you do that, you start to master the, sim the simplicity. You start to master that part of mental chess that is the five row. And this is what we're getting. So we are getting a full on showcase on how to play the right way here.
again, very patient, taking a read. He's still not, I don't think he's shot a quick shot. Very tight hole right there. He is steamrolling this 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 game right now. And David's not even playing bad, really. I mean, he's just getting blocked and demolished on every rod. <laughs> Look at this, dudes. I mean, we were talking about Rico having the best brush of all time, but look at look at Zeke's series, man. This you you sh you do a brush series? Look at this. One toss, two tosses off the wall, like getting a read on everything. David finally freezes, and, and that's what that's what happens <laughs> when you m max out the clock. You're gonna let your defender just kind of like once or twice, like just give up. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot keep giving good defense. I'm just going to relax for a second. He waits for that relax or David sticks on the wall, thinks it's going to be a wall and he just hammers that easy, easy lane. And it's easy because he set him up that way. So this is just, how do you not like just watching fantastic foosball? And that's looks like good defense from David. I mean, that middle was tight, but because he is working all the holes, push, pull, <laughs> middle, um, he, he's mixing everything up. There's nothing. It's, it's not a bad, not bad defense. <laughs> he's just doing an excellent job, especially about those middles. You know? those, those are tight. All right, man, let's flush that turd bucket down the drain, Mr. Vic. <laughs> Are we sure David used to be a pro master? Are we? <laughs> yep. Look at that patience. They are <laughs> barely missed it. You know, they're back there looking at the zone. What do we want to do? What is there? And, and give it credit. Um, Zeke has a great pull from the pits, but he sees this zone right here. And he's probably like, okay, the push allows me a few more options um, to go short and to s slice it through here. And so that's why he's kind of setting it up over here. But ultimately, he's bringing it back over here because he knows this is probably giving him more percentages, like higher percentages to score. So, and that's what you need to do. If you were going to be a goalie, <laughs> you got one bar, man. Work the pull as much as you can, but in singles, you also eventually want to develop a push. I'm not a fan of it um, in doubles, but that's just saying like, because we need to master the pull before we start mastering this. And Zeke has certainly mastered all areas of the game. So he can do this. <laughs> These are exceptions to the rule. And again, yeah. He, he waits for his hole. He knows what he, he wants to hit. And he waits for that opening. This is what the power of the two bar it will control the match. And, and when you, again, man, when you are dominant on all three rods, you, this is what happens. You steamroll. It's not even close right now. He is controlling the two bar. He is controlling the five row. And he is controlling the three bar. And loose balls. Like every facet of the game, he is just dialed in. And David is a well-accomplished pro. I mean, look at his game. It's very crispy, very methodical, and just helpless up there. <laughs> he is. When you play smart foosball, this is what you get. Oh, again, <laughs> I will take, last time I took the short hole, this time I will take the slider um, through the middle. I mean, look at, look, look at this again, guys. We, we'll fucking replay the shit out of this like it was the Super Bowl. Yeah, man, <laughs> he is, you were getting just a showcase of what a series is on every ride. And this is a two bar series. It's all right, man, <laughs> this hole was open last time. I'm going to wait for this hole to be open. And 
I have played Zeke one time and it was too straight, but I it was like four, four it like went five four five four, and the only reason um, was because I was keeping up on offense, and that's pretty much what you have to do when you have a player like this. And it's not just Zeke; it's like Tony or Ryan or, or Robbie, <laughs> or or really anybody. Even, you know, you could even have an amateur who's just hot who gets hot. Um, sometimes there's just not a lot you can do. <laughs> you. You just have to match offense with offense, and David unfortunately is not able to do that right now. You know, I, I guess to maybe one adjustment I would make would be to get back there with both hands. <laughs> you cannot give up this many two bars in a match. Super patient, getting a read on Zeke's defense. Zeke is giving great defense. <laughs> look, look at Zeke's defense. It's moving, but then he's stopping on a hole here and there, and that's the shit that fucks you up. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Like this look at his two bar. I'll set up for the pull. Nope. And look at David. He is moving his guys now. He is just chasing. He is he is trying to adjust to Zeke back there. And Zeke is so fast. His ball control is so great. He's like, I'll set up for the pull. I'll do a pull kick there. And he mis-executed that. But that hole was huge. I mean, look at the patience here. Getting a read on David's defense, and David is a pro goalie. He is fantastic back there. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> Good shit. He's, he's working the middles, and he's puckering David up, making sure he is tight on the middles, and I guarantee you he's going to start blowing up the corners pretty soon. Yep, great shot. Barely missed it. Good steal. Uh, it, we'll just take a pause again. <laughs> you, you know, just because people turn it over to the three rod, it, it doesn't mean it's just like some dumb play. Like we would never say, hey man, that was dumb. That was unacceptable. But sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. But this is what, you, this is the mental chess that's going on here. Um, Zeke has hit three three pushes or maybe two or three. And then we had that pull kick from this side. So now David's is David's turn to maybe start baiting a little bit better. And that's what he did there. And so that's not bad shooting from Zeke. That's just like, Hey man, you are not going to be able to just go a hundred percent against a pro player. That pro player is going to make adjustments. So it, it's okay to not be perfect guys. <laughs> that is foosball. Like, let's appreciate that great steal from David right there. Yep. He wants to go short hole. Sprays it long. Great grab by David. I mean, David needs this. <laughs> He needs this, and you can almost feel him pressing, but great pick. Not going to put a hand back there. I'd be curious to know if another hack is coming. And again, dudes, look at that wall. It do You don't even see that wall coming. It, it, what is it? Hesitation? Bump? Yeah, this is this is what we have been discussing in the past few reactions because we've had some amateurs, experts, rookies. They've been having a stick series, and they're either going lane or wall, and their defender has been blocking them very easy. And it's like, no, man, we don't want the 50-50 chance up there. And how do we tilt the odds in our favor? We work the clock, and we work this series, and we use hesitations like this. Um, Zeke initiated... This second, he initiated the toss this time right here. Look at it. 
three tosses look exactly the same. He's bouncing it back and forth. He initiates this next toss, and it once he gets that separation, he has baited David into, hey, this is going to be another toss. David doesn't even... He's powerless to know that that wall is coming because it looks so much like his series, and it's so unraceable. Watch this. Boom. <laughs> he, he taps it. Um, David thinks it's just another tap and uh, another toss coming, and then he goes into motion, and that thing is lightning fast, and David's not even close, and, and nobody would be because he is setting that series up by working it back and forth, and, and he is ingraining into David, hey, man, <laughs> You better be on my brush 100% of the time. You cannot relax. And David starts focusing on the brush. That wall is huge. And again, go listen to or watch some of my other videos, but I'll, I'll repeat myself here. When you play smart and disciplined like Zeke is doing and you are working the clock and you are working the series, you're going to have that same mental discipline on every ride. Right, guys? Listen to that. Um, let's repeat that. When you play smart and disciplined, when you force yourself to be slow and methodical, that is ingraining mental memory. Just like muscle memory, it is ingraining mental memory into you to be smart and methodical on every bar. The two, the five, the three, every ride. And, and this is how we become great over years of ingraining mental memory into being smooth and methodical and making things look the same as well as being explosive. This is what makes a dominant foosball player. This is great foosball going on here, guys. Oh. Mix executed the pull side. It's all right. And, and there is nothing wrong with the way David is playing. Um, Zeke is just on another level right now. Man, I, I, I am so glad I, I watched this match. I mean, this is, honestly, you could say this is master foosball. Like, I don't, Zeke is not a master, but this is master foosball. And now we know why he is a pro master killer, because he, he's got a pro master game. Great ball control. Look, again, he gets it on this. He is instantly in shooting motion right here, guys. Like, <laughs> he doesn't need to get into shooting motion for the rollover. He is already ready to go if anything is open right here. But you don't even see him change his foot, his footwork over there. So it's so compact and tight. Like, that's how your game needs to be. It's just efficient. <laughs> there you go. Did I call that or what? I don't think it was as huge as I thought it might have been, but we called that from the very first time he got the ball. The way he sets up his um, toe pin allows you to take your quick shots later in the game when you want them, when you need them, when, when it's a bigger point. Um, he's got the dinks. He's got the push kick. There's probably another option or two he has there, but... He is, through restraint and discipline, by setting up the roller every single time the same way, he has opened up this shot to go in. And Tony has the same exact thing. That's why he's got um, the same type of stuff when he sets up his roller. And it looked like David was sort of like ready for it, but still went in. Uh, just... Yeah, he is uh, it's just an off game, I guess. Yeah, and Zeke knows like this hole right here is you want to have these sliders in here. So he's he tried a slingshot. 
he's forcing David to to change. Yeah, and that's what he did. <laughs> that is exactly the power of the series. It's like, hey man, he forces David to bring in this guy a little bit more. It opens up this side of the goal, and Zeke's like, oh, now it's time to go back to the two bar over here, the pole side. So this is what we're talking about, um, being smart, having a series, looking at the zone, and having a purpose. Doesn't mean you're going to pass and score every time, but you, there, yeah, there you go. <laughs> you have a purpose. Through your series, you have forced him to change it up, and now you can exploit other things and... Now you don't have to look back here because you you know you made him adjust over here. Now you could just look up here and worry about trying to clear this part. So fantastic um, display of two bar wizardry from Mr. Cervantes here. And God, I, I hope this is a great learning tool for a lot of up and coming players here. <laughs> nope, great pick. A and again, like. We'll see if he stays controlled and methodical because in a lot of these other matches, meatball, um, we have seen some very bad, poor, her hideous, horrific foosball decisions being made on the five row. And we will see if Zeke is just like, hey, I will pass and score like business as usual. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. It basically died. I mean, this is one step away from cheating, which is exactly what you want on the brush. You got multiple tosses. It's It pretty much dies, and David has... He's powerless. Look how steep that down was. <laughs> look... Look at this. This is... He has his bumper on the opposite wall because he's stopping the ball way up here, and he knows he could go lane at any time, and Zeke is just like, oh man, I'll take that huge wall all day long, boom, <laughs> and and David does not even react, and there's nothing you can do, man, you have to just give it up to the patience here on that five row, and this is what we should all be aspiring to develop, just that, um, the, the entire series here, he is just mixing in hacks, he is mixing in wall passes, he is just doing ups and downs at different points in the clock, at different release points. And you can do, you can have fun hacks. You can have gimmick passes. You just have to let your series develop, lay the framework of this very slow back and forth toss, and it will open up the entire game. And, and that's what, <laughs> that is what Zeke has done. He has just opened up a can of whoop ass all over Mr. Vic. No, oh, big hole theory. Nope. Oh, man. I thought it was going to be two out of three. But we get, we get more of this. And Vic's like, can we please make it two out of three? Because I want this to end. <laughs> I would like to stop this beat down. Oh, man. Great down. Yeah. And, and all the, like, we'll go look at Vic. <laughs> this isn't the Zeke show. I mean, it is. But look, I'm going to set it up. I am not rushed. I'm not panicked. I get back and forth a few times off the wall. Zeke, again, he is covering this lane because David has already hit some straight lanes. And this wall is huge. And because he is mixing up his timing and he is doing these multiple tosses, Zeke doesn't know when he's going to go wall. So he commits to lane. That wall is huge. And you just got to give it up to him. Just offense beats defense there. That is the chess match. And David has been hitting some quick middles lately. Oh, again. He, he sees something in that defense. So, great shot, Mr. Vic. One, two, three, four, five, six tosses. Again, this is the, the same exact passing series that he did with that ridiculous wall in last game the ball's about to die david he has been going back and forth this whole time he finally commits it's like dude i cannot keep moving i cannot keep giving defense i commit and zeke's like bloop <laughs> oh so dirty boom Great pick. I think 
you know, as a rollover shooter, when you see the reverse in Dead Row, you should, this should almost be a, um, a reaction shot. You see Dead Row, you should almost go. It looks like David is posted for a second, and he comes off, and he goes. <laughs> and again, we'll watch that one more time, guys. When you see Dead Row, when you see a reverse, and you know you can hit that, and you should be able to hit this automatically, you should not even think about it. You should just be like, oh, I can hit that, go. And that's what Zeke does. Boom, reverse. And he he does do the crossover a bit, but it's just a little bit too late. Great offense. Fantastic brushing. And this is what you do. You want to beat Zeke? You have to have more firepower than he does. And that's what Vic is doing right now. What happened there? Oh. <laughs> um, probably an ill advised shot, but it's all right. I mean, that was a big point. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> Look at Big Daddy. Look at Big Daddy. Send it up on the stripe. This is a very tight hole. This is a very, very tight hole. I think he went there. But does he go around Big Dot? Yep. Oh, it's a pull kick. Super deep. I mean, that's the zone buster. <laughs> that is the zone buster. And you have to have that from, especially in singles. Boom. Look how deep that is. It, that's not just a little bit past big dot. That's way up here. That's around this middle middle guy, and that's how you have to practice. You have to hit pull kicks with this guy on the wall, and that you have to go around that guy. So fantastic shot. Yeah, and David's like looking over the. He is looking over the table. Like, what just happened? Are you shitting me? Fuck that. He's like, fuck you, Zeke. <laughs> In a good way. In a good way. Boom. Backbreaker right there. Time out, man. <laughs> I, I don't know what just happened there, but I don't like what just happened. Oh, man. Was that on purpose? Like, I've seen people do this. It's a wall pass um, that cuts in, even though, the, even though Zeke is on the wall. And I don't know if that's on purpose or not. I know some people have it, but... Oh, man. Solid. Great. And now, too, you kind of kick yourself for that little gimmick straight he tried because he is shooting very well on Zeke right now. Well, multiple tosses, almost dying. His man is right. Look at, again, dudes. Let's look at the mechanics here of the brush. His man is... Uh, Look at that. This is where you want your man when you are learning to brush. Right on top of that ball. Right on top of it. So there's no giveaway, no tell. Just being super patient and waiting to take his hole. Well... <laughs> He was daring him to go push side, and I, I bet Zeke is just waiting for that push side to open up again. <laughs> He's like, damn it, it, he did not. And that's great defense from David. Like, no, man, I'm not going to give you the same defense twice. Good D. Great grab. Yeah, if you're David, you really need to play smart to just, you know, he's getting a couple blocks now. Not on the five row, but, oh, man, he wanted that. That was fast. <laughs> he really wanted that. I'd get in the I'd get in the back. I would not give up any two more, any more two-bar bombs. Look at this. He is destroying the push side just like, you know, from, just like he could from the pole side. And if, yeah, I, I guess to be honest, I don't know why David is continuously letting him do that. <laughs> it's like, you, know, you clearly do not know 
what the zone needs to be to block the push. So just put up a great funnel D up there and block his two bar. He, because you're beat you're like in this game he is beating him on the the three row. But it's just too much firepower from Mr. Cervantes. He is scoring very well this this game, very very well. He just needs a stop or two, and to to stop letting Zeke get it on the two bar. Look, look at this patience again, man. All game long, zero rushing. There is no rushing at all from Zeke on the five. Either one of them really. Although I guess David, he's been shooting or passing on the first toss a couple times. Yeah, man, I would. You could not give him another two bar. It's like, oh, you adjusted your man. I will go over here, and be careful of my pull kick, the zone breaker. Yep, again. And, and make no mistake, man. When I played Zeke, he absolutely did a couple of those on me, and then I was just like, nope, that's it. <laughs> like, yeah, you're not gonna have that. I'll pull in this third guy to block it, but that's that's a money shot from Zeke, and you have to know that when you play him. Like, hey. He, if you have this zone, he doesn't just go big daddy with the pull. He goes extra, extra deep to that corner hole. And just a fantastic match to react to, guys. Honestly. I mean, on all rods, you saw what a series was on the two bar by taking his time, mixing up the timing, the placements, looking down the table to see what is open. That's what we want from the goalie position. On the five row, you got uh, probably the second best display of brushing I've reacted to and maybe even the best yeah I yeah man this might even be up there with Rico it might even be a better example of how to brush better than Rico because he mixed in the hacks he mixed in the fast walls and his his brush was just stopping at different places and Rico's is a little bit faster but this is absolutely look how simple that his brushing was guys you can do that <laughs> Just, you know, um, Schneider, um, he had that going on for him. And, and that's where, if he keeps it up, he throws in a fast wall. That's where his five is, that's what his five is going to look like. And anybody who brushes needs to watch this and emulate what he is doing there and how to mix it up. That little, this hesitation, just outstanding. And then his three bar. He even had the series on the three bar in terms of how he set up the rollover. It opened up the push kicks, maybe some dink sliders. And that is when you throw those shots at the goalie. Not right away, not all the time, just, you know, through conditioning. Hey, man, I'm going to set up the roller like I do every single time. Now I'm not. So, and, and congrats to David Vick in terms of playing. I know he got steamrolled <laughs> those first two games, but it seemed like he kind of made a little bit of adjustments and he calmed down on his game and he was playing and shooting excellent. It was really just that two bar too. Like you have to find a way to um, nul like nullify. <laughs> What's the word? Yeah, just run, take his two bar out of the game. You just have to do that somehow. So good stuff, man. Great reaction. Keep foozing dudes.